皆さんこんにちは。東北の高一でございます。So today's video is this kind of Japan week in review. This basically means that I've gathered a bunch of news stories this week, and I'll be telling you all about them. I haven't really decided the format I'll be doing this in, so it'll probably evolve over time. Please let me know if you have any comments or constructive criticism, because honestly, I'm kind of winging it now. So I thought since this was the first Tofugu Week in Review, I would invite a very special guest. Who better to talk about the news with than the Prime Minister of Japan? I'm conducting the interview via iChat. That's right, he's an Apple guy. Mr. Fukuda, if you could please introduce yourself. My name is Yasuo Fukuda, and I'm the Prime Minister of Japan. Mr. Fukuda, I'm going to have to apologize ahead of time for my hard-hitting questions. The first thing I'd like to ask you about is the Hello Kitty AR-15 rifle. I mean, this isn't the first rifle that they've made. They've made an AK-47 before. What do you have to say about this? The fight against terrorism is important. So companies that children look up to should be able to make weapons? Corporations should not be restricted to a narrow definition of security. So you're saying that it's okay for the company Hello Kitty to be making rifles? To protect themselves from terrorism? Think about the children. I mean, look at this thing. Look, that little cat is carrying a rifle. How ridiculous is this? Has Japan gone insane? We are confronted by a vast number of other problems as well. When did Hello Kitty even start making weapons? 100 years ago, in 1908. Alright, I can see it's time to move on. So Japan has always been associated with the whole sex industry. Lately, cops have been doing a pretty good job shutting it down. Since 2007, there have been many raids and many arrests, but the problem still continues. Here's a good quote. Osaka's sex industry has always led the country in coming up with new ideas. Police have been cracking down on this, but there are still problems. Mr. Fukuda, do you have anything to comment about Japan's sex industry? Japan possesses advanced technology in this area and great expertise. This is when I hit the block button. So I'd like to thank the Prime Minister of Japan for coming on today. It's always a pleasure. All right, on to slightly more realistic news. Okay, what do we got here? Ass boob airbags. Anyway, so these airbags are made by a company called Takata. Um, supposedly, they're better for you when you slam your face. Oh, yeah, those are the boobs and the butt. Wow. Japan possesses advanced technology in this area and great expertise. I can see it clearly. The future of male car insurance is getting much, much bleaker. All right, next story, mobile post office. I really like this idea. In Aichi Prefecture's rural areas, a lot of offices got shut down. So what they did is they made these giant vans that do all the things a post office would normally do. Plus they have an ATM machine. Actually all Japanese post offices have ATM machine, which is a great thing to know if you're visiting because it's one of the only places you'll be able to withdraw money from. Airports sometimes have compatible ones too. Other ATMs just don't work. All right, next. The world's tallest elevator tower was recently built in Japan. If you'd like to visit it, you have to go to Inazawa City. The building's name is Solai, and it'll dominate the skyline, so you don't really have to look for it too much. One of the tower's main purposes is actually elevator testing, which explains the tall and super fast elevators. Although this is definitely not the tallest tower in the world, it'd be still hella fun to ride in one of those elevators. All right, next. Japan inmates dislike unstylish pajamas. This, of course, refers to what they have to wear while they're in jail. They basically have these grayish jumpsuits with black stripes going down them and apparently they look just like pajamas. The funny thing about this is they actually did a survey which showed that most inmates thought they were unfashionable, and on top of that, nearly half of them thought it was just downright ugly. Honestly, what do they care? They're in jail. They don't need to look like gacked. Last story I'm gonna do is mochi choking. You know what mochi is, right? It's basically rice that's been pounded and pounded and pounded until it's a nice, gooey ball. During the New Year's, many people in Japan make mochi soup, also known as zoni. My family does this too. My grandpa's always telling me, now don't you eat mochi soup, you're gonna choke on it and die. He then ends up comparing mochi deaths to the wars he's been in. It gets all kind of weird and then mochi somehow becomes this horrible, dangerous thing. Really, it's only dangerous if you're a young child or very old. And even then, not that many people die. This year, four people died. On top of that, 10 people went to the hospital. All of them were like between ages 50 and 80 or so. They were all fine, I think. Japanese people make mochi and offer it to the gods in order to be in good favor. They also eat it later because they think this also helps. Man, it must suck to choke on one after going through all that. All right, and that's about it for Tofugu's Japan Week in Review. I'll definitely be working on improving it, so if you have any suggestions, blah, 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 please let me know. If you're interested in more, head over to tofugu.com. It's that link right over there. 
I've included a lot more information, a lot more comprehensive information about all these stories and a few more stories. So if you're interested, please check it out. There's a lot of information over there on Jap Japanese culture, Japanese language, and everything else. And thank you all for watching.